is Carol Ray, and I worked with Samantha at Whale and Dolphin Stadium, and I worked with uh, Jeff at Whale and Dolphin Stadium, and also at Shamu Stadium. So I was at SeaWorld um, for uh, about three years, and about uh, six months of that time total was six to eight months of that time was at Whale and Dolphin Stadium, and then uh, two to two and a half years was at Shamu Stadium. Um, my, my path in terms of getting there is a little bit different than Samantha's. I, I don't have a recollection of ever going to a SeaWorld uh, park or any marine mammal park um, as a child, uh, though I think I always had that fascination that everybody does. I'd seen some dolphins um, uh, you know, out in, in the ocean when I was a little, little girl um, out on a fishing trip, but outside of that, um, hadn't, hadn't had the experience of, you know, seeing what animal trainers do outside of what I maybe saw on television or whatever. So I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't have that, um, it wasn't something that ever crossed my mind that that would be something that I would end up doing. Um, I was simply your typical graduate from college who did not know what the heck they were going to do with their lives and fell into a job. And the job that I fell into was not a, as an animal trainer first, it was in this SeaWorld Education Department as a tour guide. So I took this job as a summer job thinking it'll get me through the summer and I can figure out what I want to do with my life. And in the time that I was there, um, uh, I uh, eventually, uh, after about, um, I guess it was four, four or five months or so, uh, or no, six months or so, uh, transferred into the animal training department. So I went through the tryouts and that sort of thing. Um, and it wasn't like animal training wasn't something that I would have been interested in. Uh, my assumption was that, that I was in no way qualified to be an animal trainer. Why would I be? You know, yeah, I had a degree in psychology. That was great. I understand basic learning principles. Um, strong swimmer as well, competitive swimmer growing up, um, loves scuba diving, all that kind of stuff. But I still, there's no way. I thought, that can't be all they ask. And yet that was all they asked. Um, so I found myself... <clears throat> transferring into the animal training department. I uh, again spent the first several months at the multi-species stadium working with a variety of different kinds of uh, whales and dolphins and then was um, fairly quickly transferred. Uh, the decision was made um, to move uh, the original baby Shamu, Kalina, away from her mom and away from all of the family that she knew um, to another SeaWorld park. And uh, so that event for me was is a hugely emotional, it took an emotional toll, um, and it was the event that I, I always describe as being sort of the beginning of the end of my time there. Witnessing um, this baby uh, be separated from her mother, uh, which was in itself very difficult to do. You, you had to deploy nets um, to get in between them and get her into the pool that they needed her to be in in order to put her in a stretcher lift her out of the water, put her in a truck, bring her to the airport. Um, and it was so difficult to watch uh, the, the cries and the screaming and the difficulty of getting them separated. But the worst part of it was, for me, having to stay the entire night in that stadium. I was designated as the uh, observation person up on above the stadium. You could look down on everything happening in the stadium, and I was to take observations of the of the night, um, so I did observations of the of the transfer um, and the um, um, the aftermath, which was essentially spending the night watching Katina, um, baby Shamu's mom, Kalina uh, is her real name, um, just alone in the front pool. Just there's no other way to describe it, but grieving, um, just screaming, shaking, hunched in the corner of the pool by herself. Um, she had access to the other females that were in the, in the environment, but they stayed away, they stayed far away and gave her the space um, to go through that grieving process. And I remember driving home that morning, just crying and uh, just starting to question, what, what are we doing here? And so um, it wasn't long after that I requested a transfer out of Shamu Stadium and I was moved to the Whale and Dolphin Stadium for my last few months before I, before I did leave. Uh, so that is uh, basically <coughs> the story of my time there. And then um, as far as the, uh, the involvement that we've had, I've had in the last couple of years, 
has been something that for me has um, nothing that I ever expected I would be able to do. I think I've always been embarrassed about my um, my time at SeaWorld, that I, that I was involved in that. It's not something I ever really talked about to many people that know me now in my new life. <laughs> they, they don't have any idea that this was a part of my past. Um, but um, so for me, it's, it's just allowed me to feel like it, there's a bit of, um, you know, a payback, uh, really. Um, so I'm here um, on behalf of those animals that I worked with that are no longer living and the ones that are living and all of those ones that are still there that we, we need to um, get out and 